Welcome back everyone and happy Thursday. We had a very nice start to this week, although we're not quite ending as nicely as we began. There's lots of clouds in the sky this morning. We had some overnight rain showers in the capital city. It's kind of quiet at the moment. Um, still fairly mild in terms of temperature. It's 52 degrees right now. In the last couple of days, we've been in the 50s, actually hit the 60 degree mark overnight one of the mornings here. So not too bad out there, but it is gloomy, stormy, rainy, and that's going to be the situation for the rest of the the uh, end of the week here. Great Falls also fairly mild in terms of temperature. It's 48 degrees right now, but that rainfall really just making it feel kind of gloomy out there this morning. Now we do have a couple of flood watches on the map, also a lake wind advisory for Fort Peck Lake, but there's a flood watch in southern Montana, also western Montana. And if we zoom very close in here, there's a flood warning because the Clark Fork River uh, near Missoula has just hit above flood stage. That was a few days ago. We don't have any flood warnings in north central Montana. Montana in our viewing area at the moment, but lots of rainfall moving through plus warmer temperatures that we've had the last couple of days. That's going to increase our flood risk here over the next few days. So overnight we've had this rain moving through and we have more coming. So this isn't the end of it just yet here. Uh, Cut Bank, Chester still getting some rainfall as of this morning around Great Falls. It's been a little patchier in the last couple of hours here, but we did have that overnight rainfall. So you might notice if it's not raining at the moment, you're waking up to wet pavement this morning, so it is a little gloomy out there and slick as well. In along the high line here, there's some more rain as well. It's not super heavy at the moment, but we do have a lot more coming. So down in our southwest, there is a disturbance that'll be moving into our area. So a low pressure system moving into Montana from our southwest. That is going to be bringing us plenty more of this unsettled and wet weather for the end of the work week. So later on this afternoon and evening, we might get a quick break from those showers, but it is still going to stay pretty cloudy today. So probably not going to see much sunshine, but your plants might like that. Uh, all of the rain we're going to get here now overnight tonight. This rain is going to pick back up. So in the evening and late night hours of tonight, you'll notice some more showers coming in. But tomorrow that is really going to increase. So some heavier rainfall for Friday, widespread and fairly heavy rainfall for the end of the week here, and that's going to persist for most of the day tomorrow. So it is Friday that gets people's moods up, but I don't think the weather will help much for the Friday mood. That's going to continue all the way through Saturday here. So we have a pretty rainy weekend in store for us as well. And this rainy pattern is going to be holding on for a while as that low pressure moves in. That's really going to sit over us for Friday and Saturday. And then there's another one right behind it for the beginning of next week. So lots more of the rainy weather to come today. Temperatures starting to cool off a lot here. We have temperatures topping out in the upper 50s, low to mid 60s for a couple of spots. Uh, mid 60s looking like the highest of it in the last few days. We've had 70s, even 80s on the map here. So today is going to be a little bit chillier. You might want to grab a rain jacket as well because it's not looking too dry out there for today or really the next couple of days. We've got lots more rain and cloudy weather for the next few days, especially uh, tomorrow and Saturday really looking like the worst of it. So we've got our eye on the flooding situation is that could potentially worsen with all of this rainfall and the above freezing temperatures even overnight. So it's really looking like spring out there for the next week. Now Sunday, Monday, we have some lighter, uh, lower chances of precipitation, but still have a chance of rain each day here. Really just looking <laughs> wet out there. My plants are going to be so happy. I am excited about yes. that. I just planted a bunch, so that is good. But we're looking forward to some more sunshine, I think. Yeah, okay. Hopefully you didn't have any outdoor plans in the next few days yeah. here. All right, thanks, Katie.